and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my little life slash happiness journal. Um, now I actually got inspired to make this after I watched um, Snazzy Avery's video called her life journal I'm pretty sure. So I watched her life journal I was like oh that's really cool I want to make my own little life journal but I've done it a little bit differently. I've put my own like um, kind of unique style to it and I've actually put a little bit of like happiness um, like prompts in there as well so I'm actually going to call this one my life slash happiness journal um, just because it's a, a little bit different to hers um, but if you want to go check out her video I will put her video link in the description box below um, now I actually bought this journal when I went stationary shopping and I made a vlog of it so I'll also put my come stationary shopping vlog in the description box below as well so basically I'll just show you how I made this journal and hopefully um, it gives you some ideas and some tips on what to put in your own life or happiness journal. So I'll start off with page one and I've just got some little Polaroids that I took of myself. Um, one here when I went camping and one here when I did my um, come stationary shopping with me. So that's actually from that vlog there. And I just wrote at the top my life book. Now, as you can see on the first page, um, you can see that throughout there are references to the travel journal that it's meant to be, but I have transformed it into something else. Um, and I've just added this little card here that says, this is my life and I'm happy to be living it. So there's lots of happiness references throughout. Now, these two pages um, I've just created and majority of the images... Um, and inspirational quotes throughout are either from the Kiki K Paper Lovers book, Frankie Magazine or Flow Magazine. And if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you will know that I love those three books and they're the three things that I go to when I design anything. <laughs> so this one just says, your dreams are real, go after them. And then I've just got this beautiful girl. Um, it's like an illustration of a little girl drinking tea and I love that because I love my tea. And I've just matched it with blues, yellows and pinks because I thought they went really nice together. Now the next page is one of their bold colourful pages. Um, and I wanted to match this with some more bold colours. So I've got um, some spots here contrasting the really bold green. And another little girl, I think this one was cut out of a Frankie magazine. And then this one from the Paper Lovers book, it just says, It always seems impossible until it's done. Nelson Mandela. And then I've got the opposing orange to the green and a little um, flower cut out. And it says, Be someone who inspires others. So I really love that saying. Now if you flip it again, I wanted to keep this page really simple. So I've just got a little bit of washi tape and then a cutout. I've just got this cutout that says, Simplify your life. Make your life a little easier, especially in your head. So this page I wanted to make um, pretty close to the start of the book because I've actually been using a lot of these in my life at the moment just because I've had a lot of free time on my hands. Um, so I wanted to really write something that I can turn to and be like, okay, if life, if life is getting a bit overwhelming or if you just need to step back and simplify it or slow down a bit, these are some great examples to do that. So my list is declutter your home and online, be present in the now and slow down, pay and sort all bills and documents ASAP, say no more and make time for me, eat well and exercise, Find a creative outlet for self-expression. Fill your life with people you love. Read more, watch less, and meditate. So these are all things that I want to incorporate into my life more. Um, the next page is just a full-on sticker page. These are just all my sticker collections. Um, I kind of just wanted them in one place because I have just like a tin of them. And it takes me so long to find what's in there. So if I kind of have like one of each, then I sort of know what... Um, sticker I'm looking for. <laughs> the next page is another um, page that I feel like is more for like self-love and um, getting to know your body and self a bit more. So I've just written on top, happiness is not a matter of intensity but of balance, order, rhythm and harmony. And I fully believe that um, once you get everything in balance in your life then you can live a more happier life. So the main things that you want to balance is food, rest, exercise, passions, work and study, meditation, loved ones, 
giving, reflection and prayer. And I've just put illustrations on each of them. Um, just because I like to visually see things, um, it kind of motivates me more if I visually see it rather than read it. Um, so I've skipped a few pages and I kind of just pick out the ones that I want to work on now. So I've still got plenty of pages to fill. So if we skip past these ones, the next page I've made is this one. And I love this page so much because it's so bright. And another inspirational quote, what you do every day matters more than what you do once in a while. And then next to it I've put creativity because I want to be creative every day. Or try to be at least. Um, and then I've got this beautiful illustration that I thought was very creative. And again I've just matched my yellows and oranges because they work well together. And then I didn't want this page to be overpowering because this page is very bold. So I've just put this beautiful blueprint here. So I've got my travel list and my bucket list. So my travel list, I've just written out all the places I want to go to and then I've like double ticked them if I've been there twice or just ticked them once, once I go through the list. And my bucket list is a whole bunch of things I haven't done yet. So I didn't add anything that I've already done. Um, my travel list, I already added places that I'd already um, been to. So yeah, and I just prettied it up with a bit of washi tape and all my bullet points are just little flowers. <laughs> So a few places I've already been on my travel list is Bali, Nepal, Thailand, America, and I'm going to be ticking off Japan soon. Um, a few things on my bucket list is skydiving, snowboarding, attending a high school reunion, getting 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, um, and just lots of other little things that I want to do before I die, pretty much. So I actually um, did this list I took like a lot of time to make this list. I went through a lot of websites um, and I sat down and just pondered over it for a while. So it was really nice creating that list. I had a really fun time creating it. So I want this next page to be a scrapbooking page relating to the list. So either things that I've collected on my travels or things I've collected while doing my bucket list. So as you can see, I've got things from Nepal, America, um, and I've got lots of stamps off my passports in here. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can add a few things once I start ticking things off my bucket list. The next page when you flip over again is my quotes page. Um, so I've got quotes from like the Buddha, Dalai Lama, um, even things from Disney, Dr. Seuss, Eckhart Tolle. And um, again, this was another page that I really loved because they're all quotes that mean something to me. They're just not quotes that I've grabbed off the internet. They're quotes that I've heard throughout my life and that have um, pushed me in a direction throughout my life. So this page is really a compilation of quotes that really mean something to me. On this pink page, I've got random acts of kindness. And I thought this was really um, crucial for a life book because I really need to remind myself to do random acts of kindness. So I've gone onto the internet, I've typed in random acts of kindness and millions of websites popped up with lots of ideas. So I'll just read a few out that I liked. So volunteering, planting a tree, donate and recycling, adopting an animal from the pound, smile at people you don't know, blood donation, leaving a letter in a library book. I really liked that one. Um, being thankful and put a surprise in a mailbox, give someone your seat on the bus and teach someone something new. So you can make your own random acts of kindness, things that you would probably do yourself. Um, and then the next page is um, five side effects of kindness. So this was actually a article from the Flow magazine. So if you do want to find out where I got this print and then this little um, clip here from the article. It was from, I think, the latest Flow magazine. And then I've just got this beautiful eucalyptus um, plant picture here. I just thought this page was really nice together. I like matching colours together a lot throughout this book. <laughs> Again, we've got a few more blank pages until we get to the my questions page. And this is questions for self-discovery. So I've got questions like, how do I feel at the moment? Um, what do I love about myself? Who inspires me? Um, what small act of kindness was I once shown that I will never forget? When was the last time I did something for the first time? So 
these are just a bunch of questions that um, would prompt me when I do writing journaling. Um, I actually haven't really got into just um, like journaling, just like writing and writing and writing. Um, I don't have a journaling book just for journaling itself. Um, but I will start one soon because I do like just flowing out and just starting with either a question or starting with what I've done for the day and just constantly writing until my thoughts run out. Um, but I will start one of those soon. So next to it I've just got a quote that I found very relevant in my life. It says, you know what, I can overthink everything and find a million ways to doubt myself. I've just come to realise that we're only here briefly and while I'm here I want to allow myself joy. So fuck it. <laughs> and it's from I think the movie Her or maybe a book. I think it was the movie Her. 2014. So I thought even though you can think of 101 things while answering these questions just remember that at the end of the day happiness is the answer and just enjoying life not so much overthinking it. And I am a person who definitely overthinks things too much, I think. So the last page I've created... Ooh, so the last page I've created is my book list. Um, my mum is a librarian, so she's going to send me um, books to read. So I'm going to create a list of books I want to read. And then I've just got this um, quote down here that says, If you only read the books that everyone else is reading, you can only think what everyone else is thinking. And then I've just got my little sunshine here. So that is all for my book today and I've also just got some little, um, what do you call it, post-it notes I guess you can call them, um, for ideas that I want to add to the book as well. So I've got ideas like favourite movies, past memories, childhood memories, um, letters to my younger self. I've actually made a video on that if you want to go check it out, it's on my channel. But I wanted to actually write it out as a letter and pop it in one of these little, um, pockets they've got throughout um, and then my last idea was life lessons so write 30 lessons at the age of 30 because it is a life book and I want to write lessons down that I've learned throughout my life as well so that is all today let me know in the comments below if you think of any other ideas I should add to my life slash happiness journal I have created a playlist on my channel so if you go to my channel and my playlist sections I've created a journal playlist so check that one out if you like journaling videos um yeah thanks for watching I'll see you guys next week bye